Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Toys. Crystal here, and yeah, I know I've missed a few days of the advent calendar, but I was a little under the weather. I think I got, I got a bit of a stomach flu, and it was not fun. Oh, I'm still recovering from that. I still have like a little uh, feeling, but it's getting better. Um, so obviously we missed the advent calendar so what we're gonna do today today is the 22nd I know and there's two more days in Christmas but I'm not I don't think I'm gonna film on New Year I'm not gonna film for New Year's I'm not posting on New Year's I'm not posting on Christmas because those are family days we spend day time with family on the on New Year's and Christmas and I just like to put all my time into that and yeah most people probably do um so we're just gonna do 21 20 21 22 23 and 24 today and wrap this thing up so yay let's see Gun pull 21 out put it back in and our scene is forming well open to hello neighbors before we get started, if you have not clicked that subscribe button, be sure to click that subscribe button now and click that little bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Okay, so for 19, we're going to go ahead and open two Hello Neighbor. I just have like a pick up. Oh. Okay. I thought the other ones had like a tab. Anyway, we're gonna wing it. Hold on, just a second. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open this. Um, I thought it was worth going to get a pair of scissors for. And I can leave these in here because these aren't good for cutting anything. They're like dull. Um, but you probably could just work with them. Wow, and that just fell for nothing. <laughs> Nothing's touching it. <laughs> All right. And then we have the neighbor. He's holding, what, what is he holding? I don't know what he's holding. He's holding something gold. But yeah, there's the neighbor. I would like to get the clown when he's cute. <laughs> and these stack, I'll show you when. I did get some other ones, I don't know where they're. But, These do stack, and I'll show you in a minute, as soon as I open this one. These domes are so cool. They made so many different ones. Like, my favorite ones were Nightmare for Christmas. I think I have one. I think it's Sally, because um, I just had to grab one. Oh, and then here we have the... Stop. Scary. I don't, I don't know what he is. Is he scared? I don't know. See here, they do, they just stack. Like you could just stack them. You just keep stacking them and stacking them and stacking them and stacking them as high as you want. So there's our Hello Neighbor bags. That is the neighbor. I don't, it seems like he's trying to hunt there and then it seems like he's like, I got the gold. I don't know. Anyway, let's go on to 21. Um, According to my bag, we may have more Hello Neighbors. Another Hello Neighbor. All right, let's put this back in here. And let's grab that last Hello Neighbor out of the goodie bag. Okay, one more Hello Neighbor. If anybody wants to create a advent calendar like this for next year, it's, it's easy. All you really need to do is have something that you can count down in just buy a bunch of blind bags or whatever you want to do and put them in there and open them each day like you could do candy you could do a lot of things uh, we got the I wanted to call him a crow last time I got him but I think he's a raven and he could stack right on there top of the other ones so cool look we got three stacked now it looks cute I like it so we did get the raven um, last time I say, my nephew said that they said he was a um, crow in the game when he was playing, but the other day. But we were watching the other one, the one, the one where 
you like play and there's a bunch of you and you have to one of you's the neighbor <laughs> okay and then we have a open a mickey so we're gonna open one of those marshmallows marshmallows okay we have too we have too many things in the bag so i don't know what that extra thing is but it's all right <laughs> Mickey, we already have this one, I think. No, 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 no. No, we don't have this one. This is a new one, I think. Because we got the black and white one, the one with the little hat, and we got another black and white one, I think. So I think this one is new. Or this is the one that we already have one of. I can't remember. But I hate how the bags put like wrinkles in their face. It kind of sucks. Um, so there's that. And we have two more things to open. Oh, my advent calendar. And we're done. Oh, let's put him over here so we can see what we got in the advent calendar today. And this one is... Open another Mickey. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was another one in there. I was wondering. Oh, this one does have a tear tab. Kind of. It, it don't work. Let's see if we got a different Mickey. Um, no, we got another black and white one. How many different ones were there? I, don't, I can't remember. I did a video with the advent calendar earlier and I showed the different ones. So there's that, Mickey. Let's go ahead and put that one on, back in the calendar. And our, our calendar only had 24 days. Um, oh man, I dropped it. We drop the paper. This one says open a nom nom. Woohoo! The last nom nom. Our last nom nom. <laughs> and then we're going to get on into our unboxing. Yes, guys, today's video is an unboxing. I was happy to find this in the store. It's a doll unboxing. And yes, once again, I wasn't supposed to buy it. Because it was a... Because I was Christmas shopping, but... Okay, what can you buy? Sometimes you gotta grab things when you see them. But I probably didn't have to grab it because there was a lot of them. But it's alright. <laughs> We'll, there, we'll just pretend like there was one. Oh, and I had, and I couldn't leave. Yeah. <laughs> and we already have this one. This is the one that I kept saying is, where is the unicorn horn? Because it was called a unicorn and it didn't have a horn. So that's all it was. Kind of weird. See, here we go. Repeat Repeat this. Repeat this. Dang on it. That thing won't quit today. And one of the other things, I don't care. I'm not in the mood. Oh, that little dude's name is. Um, that is the Frosty Unicorn. And once again, no unicorn horn. How are you a unicorn? I don't know what they were thinking when they called that a unicorn, but that's 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 all right. We we'll continue on and not and not worry about it. Okay, um, so here is let me clear off a little bit. So here is what we or what we are unboxing today. Da, 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 da. Barbie fashionista. I call him the surfer dude. Yes. I was only, he's the only fashionista that I actually wanted to pick up. He was the only one I'd actually pick up for full price. But if I do see some of the other ones for a cheaper price, it may be a thing. But yeah. I don't know what he's called. I will, I don't know if he has like a thing. But I will look it up and I will put it in this video to let you know what his, what his thing is. But yeah, I think he's really cool. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and take him out and have a look. 
look see so let me go ahead and open him and be right back okay so here's our surfer dude i call him a surfer i don't know what he is um but surfers have long hair surfers wear tank tops and stuff like this so yeah he's a surfer um he doesn't have a surfboard because obviously fashionistas don't come with a lot of accessories but he did come with a outfit that's two separate pieces and shoes um i like the little tie-dye shirt it's really cool i love tie-dye and if you look around at the back it unvelcros um down all the way down so that's really cool so it's very easy to get on on and off um we have some some of those faux jean pants and they velcro back there and they fit pretty tightly um they fit pretty well um i like the shirt um anybody could wear that shirt that is a very gender it's not a very gender specific shirt so like if it looked like a curvy girl possibly could wear it and look fine i'm just saying just putting that out there if you like that shirt and you want to so you can wear it more power to you and then he has these white sneakers on way too white for a surfer dude but i mean maybe he's um chilling chilling and he wants to look decent i, I don't know yep. and yeah so let's get some closer looks now that we've talked gone over the he has some very large caterpillars crawling across the face there but I think it looks good. I think it looks good with his skin tone and yeah, I think it looks good. Um, he definitely has a different mold, face mold than a lot of Kins. I will say that he has like a stronger, is that what that is? Is that what I would say? If you would say it's like a stronger face. He has like a stronger chin and stuff than a lot of other Kins um, that I've seen. that's pretty cool that he looks different than other kins um i wish i had a kin close to show you but i currently don't um so yeah i like that he look i mean he looks like he could have been beast from beauty and the beast or something um i think that's really cool there's his shirt really cool and yeah. and he's actually pretty tall he was like I think he's pretty tall because he's like busting out of that fashionista box for real <laughs> he was like all the way to the top of the box from foot toe to top so it was pretty funny um he has like some muscle going on here muscle tone hands that are that won't really do much of course he has the regular articulation of a fashionista he has his arms go up and down Doop, doop. his arms go back and forth his head goes all in all different directions kind of it but oh yeah it does not go up and down his his head obviously you can see that his head does not have any room to go up and down so yeah his head don't go up and down um his legs move back and forth and that is about it that's all kind of our that's the only articulation you're going to get out of him unless you decide to rebody which i don't rebody i just admire the dolls and unless I don't rebody unless maybe I possibly found a doll for a cheaper a, a cheap inexpensive doll then I will rebody but I'm not go out there and pay 20 bucks for 15 to 20 bucks for a made to move but well, obviously there isn't a made to move body. the only option I think there is out there for a made to move body for a kin is I heard that the these BTS dolls have articulation, and the other dolls BM19 whatever. I'll probably I'll try to put pictures of those in there for you to let you know which ones have articulation in case you're wondering. In case you want to make this guy articulated for pictures and all that great stuff. But I do have some bodies that are articulated that are not. That are older dolls so and they're not fashionistas but those could possibly work who knows oh uh, some of you probably know which ones those are but i can't remember what they're called but i do have some of them some boy dolls that have articulation kind of like a fashion uh, made to move but not really i like that he stands he stands really well but what i don't like is his hair 
his hair is brittle his hair does not want to move i noticed that in the box i was like oh man poor poor baby gonna need some green tea <laughs> green tea shampoo to try and suck some of that suck out that's that glue out of his head because he is glued to the floor and I had to pull yes I took all the Christmas stuff out of the background I had to do that to get him in there and of course this is probably the last day of the Christmas sticker this was the last day of the Christmas decorations anyway but I wanted him to have this cool background backdrop because he is he reminds me of a surfer um yeah, he has a few flyaways I don't know how he's got so much glue in his hair I mean not glue he's got stuff and then he has It looks like, I don't know what that is, but he's got like little specks all in there. I was like, is that glitter? I don't think so. It looks like he's dusty. I have no idea. But yeah, what is that? All right, anyway. So this was, he was around $8 in my Walmart. I did find him at Walmart and my Walmart had a lot of them. Um, they had like probably eight to 10 of him. I was like, because the first time I went in there and I seen the girl, the one doll, and I was like, well, that's the new doll. Where's the um, Ken? And I didn't find him, but I went back the other day, yesterday, and he was in there on Sunday. Um, I think he's really cool. I think he's one of my favorite Kens of the Fashionistas, for sure. Um, there are some that I do like, but I really liked him more than anything because of course what is it he is a kin with he is kin and he has real a kin fashionista with real hair and long hair i is there's probably very few kin barbies that have this hair right so i think he's totally cool and he looks like i know men can have long hair but he looks like a girl from behind <laughs> I mean, like, not like that, but if you, like, zoom in, you'd be like, hey, Barbie, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, he was definitely one I was going to pick up, and if I do try and get his hair more fixed, I will do a video, um, I'll do a video on May, I'll try and do a video on maybe getting all this gel out of their hair, um, like if you're just not play, if you're not taking him out of the box and playing with him, but you want to display him with other dolls and stuff, this hair doesn't look good. It's like brittly and it's it, it's just not nice. It doesn't. Yeah, it looks good from afar. It looks good in pictures and stuff, but I would rather his hair be more normal, if you know what I mean. And. It does, yeah, that's really what I would want, but how his hair's cut back here, I don't really know. It's that kind of, it's kind of layered back here, so I don't really know how that would work out. But, yeah, what is my favorite thing about this kid? I love, love his hair, and I love his, like, stronger face mold. It's really cool, and, of course, I love the top, the shirt. I love the tie-dye shirt, and I love just, like, the beach theme. It's really cool. Maybe it's not beach theme to me, it's beach theme. Um... Whatever you think he is. Do you think he's a surfer boy? Do you think he's just a dude? I don't know. You <laughs> you comment below. Um, hang 10, guys. You know. <laughs> is, that a, is that a surfer thing? Hang 10. I think that's a surfer thing. Um, I have no idea about surfer things. But here I am trying to act like I do. Weird. Um, so, yeah, guys. Thanks for joining us here at Crazy Toys. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I probably will be talking to you again before the new year, but I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy whatever that is that you do celebrate. I don't want to be like, everybody's here, but it's Christmas. Everybody! But everybody doesn't, so yeah. Whatever you celebrate at this time, hope it goes well. So yeah. So, and I hope you get the time to spend time with your family like I do. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I love spending time with my family. Um, so yeah, guys, comment below. Do you like this, Ken? 
Do you think, do you also consider him a surfer? Like I, um, yeah. So this has been a fun, another fun video. Um, come, and you can also comment below if you got, do you, did you pick him up and are you planning on trying to get some of that goo out of his hair? Also, um, yeah. If I don't talk to you, Merry Christmas guys and Happy New Year if I don't talk to you, some of you before the New Year. And yeah, hopefully y'all go, if y'all are looking for him, hopefully you'll be able to find him soon. So bye guys, hope to talk to you later. Thanks for joining me here at Crazy Toys. Bye crazy peeps. <laughs>